So this will be the last video for the Vegas series of my trip that I took last month. This is going to be a highlight video of our week stay in Vegas. So this is the Luxor Hotel and Casino where my brothers and I stayed for the first three days before moving over to the Golden Nugget on Fremont Street. This is a standard room at the Luxor. As you can see, it comes with all the basic amenities and it also had very good free Wi-Fi. Inside the Luxor is pretty spectacular. Here's a view from uh, the balcony from the rooms. What's really interesting is that all of the elevators, instead of moving vertical up and down, they all move at a 39 degree angle along the face of the pyramid. I actually really liked the lighting in Luxor. They used a lot of accent lighting to highlight the many sculptures that they have. It definitely has its own unique atmosphere and vibe in here. Visitors also come to the Luxor to check out the Titanic exhibit, where they have over 250 artifacts, as well as recreated rooms of the Titanic that you can explore. You know what, I have to say, my brothers and I really enjoyed the Luxor. Uh, none of us have ever stayed here before, but we had the opportunity to stay here for free for this, these three nights, so we took advantage of it and we're so happy that we did because uh, this is actually a really great place to stay while you're in Vegas. They did an amazing job with the Egyptian theme. Uh, they have a good gaming floor. There's a lot of restaurants around here and you're beside Mandalay Bay, MGM, and I believe Excalibur on the outside. Here we are now at Mandalay Bay, another beautiful hotel casino here on the Vegas Strip. Mandalay is actually a very special place for my family because this is actually where my younger brother had his destination wedding. So um, whenever we, any of us come to Vegas, I feel like we always have to just come here and uh, remember those times. Just like every hotel casino has their own unique attractions, Mandalay Bay has a Michael Jackson show that you can come check out. So if you are a big Michael Jackson fan, you can come here and purchase a ticket and see this amazing show. They also have some artifacts from Michael Jackson uh, on display here. And I think they also have like a shark reef aquarium that you can come to and check that out.
here we are on what's called the Deuce, a double-decker bus that moves up and down the strip. This is probably the most convenient and affordable way to move up and down the strip uh, without having to pay a fortune for Uber or taxis. You just download the app and buy a pass and off you go. Now the buses do get packed, but they do come frequently. So unless you have a personal driver, the Deuce is the way to go. At the Flamingo, one of their attractions is a wildlife habitat. It's completely free and you can come over and check out all their wildlife, including flamingos, uh, koi fish, there's a big pelican here. In fact, while we were here, one of the keepers came out and did a question and answer session. So that was really interesting. Okay, that one's a little bit better. <laughs> Good boy. Bubsy is a California brown pelican. This is a protected species in this country. We do not own Bugsy. You want to back up a little bit? This is just going to be a quick look at Circus Circus, the most family-friendly casino in Vegas. My previous video actually highlights Circus Circus, so if you want to check that out, see the extended version, it's uh, number 162. One of the OGs of the Vegas Strip having opened in 1968, Circus Circus is definitely designed for everyone in the family to enjoy. Now in Resorts World, one of the newest places in Vegas, having opened in June of 2021. They have a 50-foot digital sphere as a central attraction. Now the MSG Sphere is taking up all of the headlines right now, but this is still really cool and they can always say that they were the first Sphere in Vegas. Mile shops in Planet Hollywood. A lot of shopping can be done here, but we are here for one reason, and that is Ocean One Bar and Grill. This place is fantastic. Walking at night in Vegas is always great uh, because of all the lights and everything, but especially during the holidays when we went, um, there's a lot of performers. Uh, obviously, you have to navigate the traffic. Uh, the quote-unquote showgirls that want to take pictures with you, but again, overall, a great atmosphere during the holidays. Now one of my favorites, Caesar's Palace. So you don't really need to be a gambler to enjoy yourself in Vegas. You can just simply walk around and enjoy all these casinos, all the themes, all the decor, and eat at all the restaurants. Stopping by the Bellagio to check out their annual holiday decorations. This is the newest hotel casino in Las Vegas, the Fountain Blue. 
It literally opened the week that we were there. Uh, it opened on December 13th, 2023. I actually really liked the color theme and design of this place. The gaming floor looked great. There were a lot of restaurants everywhere. Um, I wish I had taken more video, but I basically just ended up walking around and looking at this place for myself. I hope you can tell just from the spacing how open and grand this place felt. Now we're back on the deuce, headed downtown over to Fremont Street to the Golden Nugget Hotel for our final four days here in Vegas. Again, four days completely free. Uh, thanks to my younger brother's frequent trips to Vegas, he gets all these deals, so uh, we took advantage of it. Here is a standard room in the Golden Nugget. Again, nothing fancy, just your basic amenities. Here is the view from the room. Wait, you hear something? My spidey sense has kicked in. And bro, you're lucky I used that clip instead of the elevator one. Hi guys. But of course, the star attraction of Fremont Street is the LED ceiling. The best thing is when you notice other people seeing it for the first time. Here we are in Circa on Fremont Street. This is the only place that checks all IDs before going in. You have to be 21 and older. They have a really nice space here for watching sports. Right outside is one of several performance stages on Fremont Street. And we happen to be here just in time for performance from cover band Alter Ego. These guys were great. They did a lot of classic songs and there was a large crowd here to watch them. So this was another fun week in Vegas. I have several other videos on my channel of other trips out here. My younger brother definitely enjoyed his week. He had a great week on the slots. So that's it. Time to call it on this one. As always, thanks for coming along with me. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Here's a final look at Las Vegas' newest attraction, the MSG Sphere.